Fox 17 News starts now with a breaking news alert. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Josh Barry. We begin our 11 o'clock news with breaking news. Grand Rapids police and fire have called off a search and rescue for a missing person on the Grand River. First responders got the call around 9 o'clock tonight. Our Matt Whitkos has been on scene gathering the latest. Matt, what have you learned? Well, Josh, it was about a half hour ago. That's when we started seeing some motion in the water when it came to the boats. We we're trying to understand exactly what was going on. That's when we learned from the Grand Rapids Fire Department that they, they have ended their search and rescue operations and now have entered a recovery operation. Uh, the scene here at Riverside Park uh, by the Grand River has cleared the Grand Rapids Fire Department, the Grand Rapids Fire Department, the Police Department, and Michigan State Police have since left the scene here. Now, what we understand from the Grand Rapids Fire Department uh, that they were looking for a man in the Grand River. Now, I talked to a witness earlier about two hours ago. He explains that he had saw a person in the water yelling out for help. Uh, as he was hearing that person yell out for help, he ran, he ran and started swimming towards that man, but unfortunately wasn't able to get him. He says he describes the river as cold and you could really feel the current going on in the Grand River. Now, when I was talking to the Grand Rapids Fire Department, uh, they had ended their uh, search and rescue operation just an hour and a half into the night and take a listen to what they had to say of why they decided to call it off. Nightfall and being transitioned into a recovery mode, we're now uh, going to transition into the morning. Uh, survivability. There's only a there's a point at which we will do treat every drowning in the state of Michigan as a cold water drowning outside of a hot tub. Now, earlier we did see a helicopter over the Grand River. It looked like the Michigan State Police. We have since learned from the Grand Rapids Fire Department that it was Aeromed that happened to be over the river. They were using their lights from what they were telling me that the, uh, the helicopter had just uh, was at Butterworth Hospital and was leaving. They spent about 10 minutes roughly uh, looking over the area using their searchlight to help in this search and rescue operation. Uh, when I was talking to the Grand Rapids Fire Department, they said, uh, they will regroup in the morning. They'll be discussing uh, throughout the night exactly how that uh, operation will be in the morning. Reporting live here in Grand Rapids, I'm Matt Whitkos, Fox 17 News. All right, Matt, thank you. An unfortunate situation developing along the Grand River in Grand Rapids tonight. Stick with Fox17online.com and the rest of the newscast for the very latest.